All right, so last time I won it, well, yeah, last time I was in here, I, uh, I set up the beast on the ground right here, and it was kind of windy, so I put a canopy top over overhead of the beast, and I came in sideways here. I might put a, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description or whatever to that video. But I, wanna, I have not used this thing for probably, probably haven't used this since 2010. So 2000, we're 2018 now, so. <laughs> Because some people might want to, might not want to do like I do. So let me get this rigged up for you and then we'll go from there. Okay, so that makes a nice little setup here. Go down here. Got a nice, got a nice cut up off the ground. This thing's got some storage underneath it built in. I can store stuff up off the ground and uh, so now the only thing is we're going to be in the 30s tonight so I don't want to lay right on here just like this so I'm going to I'm going to use a beast on here so let me show you the beast setup with, with a, a slumberjack all right, so I got my beast. Now watch this, this is just sweet. Now you've always seen me use the beast right on the ground. And, uh, and that's how I commonly use it, but, <clears throat> but I don't need to. I can use it up here on the uh, slumberjack on a cut. <clears throat> And so you see this, uh, the beast is 24 inches wide, and this one here is, uh, I don't know, my head, I don't remember how long, I think it's 70, 74 inches long. And now this right here is my Osni, this is my Osni uh, narrow blanket, we call it. The reason we call it a narrow blanket is our our regular blankets are are wider than this. So this is this in size to fit the beast. It's size to fit uh, in the hammock or whatever, you know, all that sort of thing. Now one of the things here you'll notice is the the beast has this is this is to hook on a deal so you can put a canopy cover over, and then right here is for the purpose of being able to attach this blanket. So now I can come right down here. Now the narrow, the Osni narrow blanket has snaps down one side, the other side is no snap. So, so basically this side is your hinge side, this side is secured, the other side is a side that you'll get in and out of. And so this is very nice because now I'm not, I really don't want to create a sleeping bag, you know, so I, uh, so that's, so that's the nice thing here is I'm not, not making a sleeping bag. It's still just a blanket that lays over me. I flip in, flip out, get in and out of it. Just like, just like a blanket in your bed at home. So. That right there makes a very, very nice setup. Now the Osni narrow blanket is that Climashield Apex. You can get it in two different weights, 3.6 and 5.0 for a little colder weather. And you choose your covers. It's like on all our stuff, you choose whatever you want on there. The nice thing about the Beast is I don't need to, I don't need to have any any cover on the beast itself. It's comfortable just like it is. Let me take my light off. And so I can just come here and get in this thing. And see I can just I can just lay down, 
go to sleep, be as comfortable as ever. I'm well insulated underneath of my beast. My blanket is secured to the beast. But you know, the nice thing is this side here is opened up. If I need to get in and out, I'm not having to unzip or anything like that. I just throw it, I just throw it over me and I go to sleep. Now it's tall enough because the Osney narrow blanket is eight feet tall. I can put it clear up over my head. And that makes it so if it's chilly, I can add some more comfort range without doing anything else. I can be all the way inside of it. It'll work just fine. Everything here is very breathable. So excess moisture and everything just passes right through it to the outside. So I don't have to worry about condensation, moisture buildup or anything like that. I can get all the way inside of here. and I can be just totally comfortable. Well, I woke up. <laughs> I woke up. <laughs> oh man. I had a great sleep. It was a great night with the beast underneath and the Osney narrow blanket on top. Whew, it was nice, nice. Very warm. I'm out here kind of on a point here on a on a high on a high place. And so it did get kind of breezy and everything, but this is all I needed. Uh, you know, I didn't need a tarp or a tent or anything. It got down in the 30s last night. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, but I was absolutely comfortable. Very comfortable with the beast on this. No discomfort underneath from chili or anything like that. And only just the, uh, just the Osney narrow blanket on top uh, just laid over top of me. That was plenty good for me. Anyway, now I've got my morning pills I gotta take here for keep the old ticker going. I think I've always thought it's funny my occupation for like half of my life was or so, I guess close to that, 18 years or something, was electronics. So the funny thing is what went haywire with my heart was electronics. <laughs> my cardiologist, he goes, he goes, well, there's two kinds of heart. There's two kind of doctors for the heart. And he's for the heart. He said, he said, one of them's a plumber and one of them's an electrician. He says, I'm an electrician. He says, so your problem's not the plumbing of your heart. It's the electrical. So, so anyway, I mean, it's fixed up now. I just had to keep it regulated. It's going to be a great day. I'm really excited. Uh, temperature finally got a little above 40. I think we're, uh, I think I looked at about 43 degrees right now. Mm -hmm.